Hey guys, it's Trice here, back with Mon Bazoo, and in today's video, we're gonna be pretty much spending the rest of our time working on this car here. In the last video, I did some paint work and, uh, Happy Valentine Day from Santa Go. So I was about to say, I did do some of the patchwork with the rust and everything, which we got the rust from, like, the bottom portion of the fender here, and this rusted-ass door, which I think we had to do, like, a paint job. Same thing with the roof here. And some other patchwork with the rust, like, the front of the car, and the windshield portion, too. Which, right now, we're at $60, so we gotta make ourselves some money. So, let's go into shack here, and what is the rest of the to-do list? So, we got the sugar shack, we'll probably do that a little bit later, or intermediate. To be good friends of Francis, complete the garage, and do all that stuff. Install a manual transmission. Okay. Or is that a whole lot of just, like, doing things, of course, for, like, getting this car running? But we got the car running, but we need gas. Well, first things first. Well, gotta go back in the shed to get the goddamn, um, a chainsaw. So use our quiet chainsaw. Yep, it's still quiet, thank God. And cut this bad boy down. Maple tree! Rip Canada. And cut the trunks. Boom, now they're all logs, which it's kind of a good thing they got that. Instead of just kind of cutting every single logger here, 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 it just does all the work for you. So, Birch Tree, a boy Birch. Get out of here, man. So we're gonna try to get, like, a full truckload going here and sell the wood to France and get above $60 that we got right here. Probably get, like, a few hundred dollars or something. So, Maple Tree again. It's gonna fall away, and boom. Cut this bad boy off. Do one more tree, and... God damn, it's all the wood. Now for the final part, boom, there goes all the logs. You can't cut this, do 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 can't cut this. My my music's so hard, whatever. Stop doing Brick James, MC Hammer. All right, so we got three quarters of a tank of gas, so we're gonna park this bad boy, and first of all, what is the fuel for the generator? I kind of remember it was getting pretty low, and uh, yeah, that's like dangerously low, so I think I got the gas can like in the truck. Yeah, I do. So 0%, we're gonna get that boy filled up soon, so we're gonna park the truck by the wood cutter, and then cut all the wood, load her on up, and get this boy to Francis. What the hell? You got a square piece of wood. How will this behave in the wood cutter? Back to its regular shape. Even this boy, too, so we get a closer look. Let's, uh, let's, let's clear out the wood here, all, all these logs here. Get the wood out of here, and pick the log back up and insta. Yep, it's back to its usual firewood log type of shape. So we get all this wood in check, so we pretty much got like a halfway to go, which I'm not going to show you everything here. So get all the wood, sell it to Francis, and I do want to use the Koenig, the wannabe BMW E46, and try to do a night race to see what that's like. Because the night races take place in the abandoned grocery store, and on top of that, you want to be like a nighttime delivery driver, you got to be a driver within like hours 1700 and 1800 hours at night. Which is pretty much where the gas station will close up shop, which I gotta go buy some fuel and a couple of things if I can afford something to fix up the car even more. On top of like, whatever, the engine or something where that's like a few grand in the store, like the freaking gas station, which is kind of weird to sell an engine there. So depending how long this takes, it's uh, 10, 24 hours right now. So I'm guessing we'll be done. We'll probably be at the 1100 hour mark. So we got like mm, six hours to go till everything closes up in the game. So we should get this done. We're about done with the birch right there. So we got at least one like whole stack of uh, looks like uh, maple trees right here. Yeah, that big stack and a few straddlers of the birch wood there. Can you eat the bitch and cut it? Oh, <laughs> you can do that. That's it. That's kind of cool. You gotta be like really precise and really on point with your throwing game to like make that speed running strat. Yeah, like on point like that. Even what's funny on top of the, uh, on top of this game here is that there was an update, which I believe was the Kone Quick Fix or something that the game calls itself. Which right now, it's just about 10 o'clock, and the update came like a half hour before I started recording. So this is pretty much the perfect time to start recording is this here update of the game, which you can see the bottom left is early access version 0.256. So it's 1100 hours like I've promised, I thought it would be done, so it would probably be around 1120, 1125, so we're on the Maplewood section. Oh no, we're out of gas. Wait, are we out of gas? We're out of gas, so we gotta load this, load this in as is. <laughs> well, sorry Mr. Tree, sorry I murdered you. Well, put all the wood in the back of the truck, put this log back where it came from right here. 
Alright, clear all the log jam, all the logs, everything else in general, yeet the bad boy, and miss that, and yeet the bad boy, and almost overshoot that. And just start chucking the wood in as so, and sell this bad boy, or bad boys of a portal of an S, to Francis, and crap. Hopefully we don't lose all this wood if I make a freaking mistake and I drop like 20 packs of uh, firewood up in here and then there goes my career of selling firewood for living to our boy Francis. Because we got literally about a truck full. Maybe I can like shuffle things around, make things better, but we got this side left to go and we got literally a, a truck full right now. Alright, this is the last piece of wood and here is what we got. Put the icing on the top of the cake. And, <laughs> boy, we are overfilled to the brim. Th th that wood's about to c come loose up in here, so let's stack it over here, and... Oh yeah, it's out of control. I'm gonna lose some wood on the way going to Francis' house. It's like pretty much the point where I gotta like, put on my hazards or whatever, drive really slow, and take my time, go to Francis' house, sell the wood. Alright, let's see how the wood behaves. I'm gonna pay attention to my rear view mirror. Our side view mirrors, unfortunately, doesn't work as of right now, so ignition, on. Now it's on. So, first gear, drive slow. If we have to drive this slow to go to Francis' house without losing so much load in the back, I have to do this. Like, this conditions. So I believe we have to make a left-hand turn out of the frickin' driveway to this here road. Have we lost any wood yet? The answer is, looks like a no as of right now, so... First gear, nope, we haven't lost any wood, so good. So it's just, save as much gas, second gear... Are we swaying to the right because of how... Uh, it could be me, I know swaying hard to the right because of how much low that we got in the back. Alright, see the roof right there, so Francis is just straight ahead, we got the bridge road right here, which we're gonna rightfully ignore that. And still lost the wood? No, we didn't, so I'm gonna guess maybe profit out of this one, 450. 450 maybe 500 dollars once we pull in the back of my boy Francis' house to sell all the wood. Alright, reversing as of right now, gonna break. Hard on the brakes, not super hard, but moderately hard. See the marker back there? So we're about lined up here, so 60 dollars, what will this turn into? Let's see, here we go. Uh, buh, uh, buh. uh, calm down, little brother, don't you see that's, that's full? What, so... $384 is the limit to sell to Francis? That sucks. Well, um, park the truck, talk to Francis. Jump over the truck, parkour that bitch, look at that 50 inch vertical. Francis, how you doing, buddy? Hello. We just completed the second floor of the garage. So much for activities. Yeah. So much, man. And you're not gonna say anything with the text bubble disappearing like that, so are you gonna lock on to me? Very eerily. So yeah, I'm out of here, boy. Jump down the stairs and get back in the truck and get this boy fueled up in terms of the gas can for the generator and log splitter. So we don't have to be... Uh, let's, let's alleviate the load in the back here. I mean, just in case we lose anything, let's get the wood flattened down. Yeah, at least flat it so we're not going like, like all over the place and we potentially lose any load for the future to sell the wood to Francis. Take a shot every time I say Francis or sell the wood to Francis. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? You know what? Since the break, the race is at the noon hour, not noon hours, but in the evening hours of the game, I'm gonna park my truck and get the freaking uh, shite car, the freaking Koenig BMW M3 E46 car, and drive that to the gas station and try to find a race for this video. Okay. We got no airbag in his vehicle. Was it like that in the last update or no? So turn this on and we are uh, critically endangered in gas. We can barely get away, so we have to go now. Oh, let's reverse. Drive. A parking brake. You can put a parking brake on an automatic vehicle. Who does that? I mean, you could do that if your brakes are bad, your training's bad and everything, but uh, we're not like on a downhill or nothing like that, but why do that? And uh, gas light just came on. Gotta be very careful. Let's just conserve our fuel as much as we can, so keep around 3,500 RPM. Hopefully this thing ain't a gas guzzler. If so, then oh well. Now I know it's a gas guzzler, not a econo box. All right, so I make a left. Hard left through here, we're pretty much got a freaking Allen Iverson our way out of here. So, uh, here's a wind turbine, so this takes you to the part of town. Now I got to pretty much the hang of this map here, so it shouldn't be much of a problem getting to town, out of town, wherever in the town, so it's gonna be easy from now on. I'm not gonna be like, oh, what's this? Um, what's, what's here? What, what's that? Throughout the Atari, the video, kind of like what I did earlier, not earlier, but in the first episode, mostly off camera and everything. And did I miss my turn? I was supposed to make a left, and I believe it's like another left or a straight, so 
Oh, right there, to my right. Okay, wait, wait, to make this right. Okay, so we make a right. Hurry our asses up. We're critically low on fuel, so where's my fuel door? The left side or the right side? Let's find out. Let's do the left side. Pull in here. And stop, stop, stop. Don't let me stop. All right, they're still open until 17.30, so we got time. We got plenty of time, so the door is on the other side. Oh, are you going to re reach here? I swear. Peasant fuel. Peasant. 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 Uh, feel good. Ew, disgusting! No matter what, we gotta use super fuel for virtually everything. That's kind of stupid, dude. So the line's going through there. I don't care. So fuel-wise, let's probably put... Well, I could zoom in here and get a good estimate. I'm thinking around $35. $35 to do, so I'll go to a 30 right now. And a little bit more. And... Ah, a little bit over. Who cares? So get the gas tank, or the gas thing of a chick. Where are we at? In the trunk. The gas can. Yeah, the gas can. Now, super, put the in here. Oh, oh my god. Any two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred. Seventeen dollars, sixty-six sex. So around, um, seventeen dollars you put in into the, uh, the, the gas cap, or gas can. I'm stupid. And we do need some, well, mostly the maple syrup on the road, but mostly poutine. And this thing's spinning. Forty-nine hundred dollars. God damn, dude. Broke ass. A muffler? Or mufflers? And a freaking heart muffler. Ah, damn, dude. So what will the rust repair do on, like, the... Let's see, the hood. Oh my god! Let's get the door involved, too! Let's get the door, right now, get the door. Alright, get the door. Uh, door. God damn, looks better already, but we're missing a front bumper. I got a mismatched bumper, the back bumper, but much better. I'll give you that. Yeah, might as well buy some maple syrup. Buy, drink, happy, and some energy. Uh, Tom Hortons. Didn't do much. Buy freaking strut bars now, sway bars, most of these, uh, rims in the back, Jacquez. Good to see you! Why don't you put some regular gas in your old vehicles? Or why won't? Because, well, I'm rich. How about you, Norman? Nice to see you. Can't change my mind. The track is closed forever. Damn you, dude. Tire, summer tires, and sport tires. Another spanner? Hold on, real quick before things close up. Hurry on ass up. We got some studded tires. This isn't winter, dude. Oh, let's buy some paint real quick. Buy some paint, it's gonna close within a few seconds up in here, so paint. Uh, do some... Red. Oh, it's just gonna close, like, within the next few seconds, so... Yeet that boy. One more red. One more red. Come on, one more red. Damn it! Well, I swear. Bye, guys. <laughs> there you go. The store's closed. Get out now. So I have to put in gas in. We're about full. Nice. So we kind of need some poutine, but not like right now now, but like something to consider later down the road. And how about the storage about left? Is this abandoned or no? So we got whatever this is. So let's just hastily park uh, reverse. Let's get away from here and park. It appears to be close. 1730. It's a decor shop. Yeah, I was right. Is that a QR code? Hold on. Yeah, that's a QR code. Let's see, hon. Can I pause and try to scan it? Let's see. Pause right here. I'm literally gonna scan this right now. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna scan it right now. So, zoom in. Can I get a zoom going? Or is it in an awkward- it's probably in an awkward position. Yeah, it's not working. So we can't do any deliveries, unfortunately, so we gotta find a way, or find somewhere, is where the frickin' track is located. And let's see the rest of town here. We got a crap load of firewood. You could probably sell there, maybe, but the rest of my excess firewood, and what is this? Ciceri Specialty Stupin? Pardon my French. So I just looked it up for the street race. I gotta be at this property here, the former uh, convenience store that says nothing but... Oh, that's just a win. So nothing but this triangular shape here with a red bar right there. It's still the former name of somebody. And the race should just pop up, I believe, any time in the night here. So we're gonna race our piece of crap car with literally minimal rust and fuel door open. And a fuel cap! Oh, <laughs> you can't do that in real life. <laughs> Uh, tighten this bad boy up and close the door, so... Well, we're gonna screw up the car with the fuel mixture. Not the fuel mixture, but the... Let's say fuel delivery, fuel injectors, all that good stuff. All the contaminants coming into the gas tank and ruining this here vehicle. But time-wise, I don't know when this will start, so let's camp out here until racers start flowing in. I mean, knowing this game, they'll probably just pop right in. Oh, okay, they just rise up out of the ground as so, and there's a Pontiac Sunfire. With a spoiler. Alright, so... How do I get some street cred? How do I do this? Do I pull up alongside him and just challenge him? Let's see. So, Pontiac Sunfire looking dude. I choose you and there's a... MX-5 Miata, a Honda Civic Si, and a Chevy Cavalier? Or a Geo Prism? So, let's see here. Hey, dude. I wanna race you. How do I rev? Neutral. 
Let's go. Anthony! What's new? I'll race till I swap my engine. Cool, how about you, Anthony? What's new? Koenig, eh? I mean, when they are not a pile like yours, they are okay-ish. But you see, you already got some customization going on. All that rust you like a lightweight stage one. Anyhow, was a fun talk. Uh, yeah, I want to race. Uh, 50 dollars up against the Sunflower. Not the Sunfire, the Sunflower to the Sawmill. So, 50 dollars bet. Go beside my boy Michael, which I'm right here right now, so seat. Get in, uh, shut the door, um, to the green light. Okay, go. And go. What a soul start. So, let's go straight here. Go behind him. Go, uh, go, Mr. Um, what is it? Sunfire. Get on the draft. Which is no draft physics. So, get on the draft as so. And we're probably going to be beaten. So, left. Right, right, right. Shh. Sh Jesus, Jesus. Get, get alongside him. Get alongside him. Where you at, buddy? I see your lights, buddy. Yeah. Uh, wow, big deal, you won. Lucky guy. Uh, my energy is through the roof. My maple syrup, including my poutine. And there's Mr. Sunfire. I beat you. Can I do some donuts? And this... I don't know if my head gasket blown. So Mr. Sunfire is gonna stay there, so that is what a race is like. And I've got the headlights. Turn them on. This is illegal to drive at night without having headlights on. I'll probably do one more, so I'm gonna turn around. Uh, hastily turn around in a poorly-ass turning circle, and then... Park right here, do one more race, and head back home. Okay, at the day. Sunflower again. Can't do that, uh, get some sleep. Okay, thank you, thank you. Good advice, so go get some sleep. Yeah, because my energy factor is through the charge. Hopefully I don't pass out asleep while driving. That would be bad. I don't want to do this with a gas can in the trunk back there, and on top of that, winning $50, you can see I did get some money, so that is good. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit nervous about how my energy is right now. This is kind of worrisome, but we should get there no problem. I mean, I drank a cup of coffee earlier, and I probably uh, soothed some things out, but hopefully we're not going to pass out. So through the roads here, which I believe is our way back, high beams. Nice. These are hella bright. And I can't believe it. I won my first race by just doing that in this piece of crap car. I mean, it's got work to do, but we beat a race, and there goes Francis, and I gotta stay on the road. Stay on the road. Um, rip. R.I.P. You fall asleep and hit your head while driving. Thursday at noon. Anxiety maxed out. 300 hours. Uh, I'm sleepwalking, right? How do I... Anxiety. How do I... How do I cure my anxiety? Is this slow motion or am I am I gonna die? Well, we got a tiny bit of gas left to go. Turn on a generator and hope to God that the computer will save my life. If not, I gotta do this all over again. What will happen when 60 seconds is over? 68. Come on, uh, 67. Come on, do something. All right, save. What will happen? Is time gonna pass? Will that come down like hella fast on the thing on my top right or no? Let's see. Please don't. Uh, yes, and... Oh, so that was a... saved. Let's get back to the car, and call this a wrap. So we're out of gas, in our generator, and log cutter, so we're just on the street. I guarantee we probably burn out the gas in our car. I mean, we weren't that far away. Like, dude, where's my car? It's in the water? Oh, boy, we gotta pull this out. And the lights are still on. There's our uh, spray paint. Where's our gas tank? Yep, we're in the water. Engine's still running, which is kind of weird. Let's put this in the trunk. Do we still got our gas can? Please do. All right, good. Max on the gas can. Got our spray paint. A hoist puller. Place on the ground. We gotta, like, swim our ass out of here and place this on the ground and get this back to shore. I mean, look at that. The engine been hydrolocked by now, and... Oops. Yeah, the engine would have been hydrolock by now, and this, end, uh, th th this car is totally ruined. All right, down. Let's see, can we still reach this pretty good? And, yeah, we can still reach it. Attach to a vehicle. You go on. I mean, look at the, uh, look at the freaking vehicle flooded with water, and... We're maxed out. Yeah, we're maxed out. Shoot. I mean, I gotta hurry before this thing floats away. So, grab it. All right, good. It's, it's grabbed. Get in the car. Shut it down. Turn off the lights. And how much gas do we got? Three quarters of a tank. All right, get 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 to cranking, get to cranking. It's going. All right, you can see it's it's going. You can see right here. That's good. Crank, 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 crank. We got a long time to do this. I mean, it's kind of stupid. You could really die from max out your energy, saying, "Oh, you hit your head. You legit freaking died, man. Congratulations." I mean, you hit your head, died, and I'm out here trying to pull my car. I got second life or something. <laughs> it's unfortunate I died literally. Like, can I see my house beer? Uh, barely. I just died, like, literally down the road from where I live, and this is where I end up. In the freaking drink. Pulling my car out. 
I think we should get out of there, so let me put everything back to park, e-brake, and release the hoist puller and put this back in the trunk. So we got the gas can, still got our spray can, so put this trunk down and see if we can get this out of here. E-brake's up, hold on to the brakes, drive, e-brake down, and go, 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 go. Ooh. We're stuck. We're stuck. Uh, no, 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 Batman, Batman. It's strategically, gas it. We're doing a burn on the sand. Get this bad boy up. It's rear wheel drive. You got some power, so get this boy going. And good. So we're going to be doing some off roading in the sand. Dude, it's a freaking, like, freaking rally car driving up in here for a while till we get. Oh, uh, the point where he almost got stuck. I mean, in real life, you screw up your front end, but you won't be, like, stuck, stuck like I just did right there. And literally, down the road, look at that. There is our trailer, and we were literally like, what, a tenth of a mile away, and we crashed out because, well, my energy maxed out and just legit freaking died. Can we get ourselves up? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Let's go around the truck, park like we were last time where we found this car, so back around up here. Reverse. And park. Now, park. And shut her down and call this a night. So that'll do it with Mon Bazoo. So with the car and everything, well, a good thing they got the rust figured out with the hood of the vehicle and the door, but we still got some rust work patch to go with the windshield of the vehicle and portions of the front bumper. And it's quite interesting with this vehicle. I am surprised with how poor this performs that I won a race. I mean, that dude had a spoiler, that dude had customized parts, and I still beat him. So in the future, keep selling some wood, sell to our boy Francis, and do the rest on our property by building a freaking shed like the game says so as you can see right here build a freaking sugar shack which we could try to do that later on in the future and for those who are interested in this type of content please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future and also check out my social media down in the description below so this is tries rising up and signing out